Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds, and welcome back to another video by me, Diddy Mark. And yes, you read the title. In this video, you're about to watch a clip from a Patreon exclusive tutorial where I taught how to shade the way that I do. So I figured that I'd just give you guys a clip of that. And um, if you ended up liking the tutorial and you wanted to get so much more out of it, because it's a full 20 minute version on my Patreon. So yeah, if you wanted that full version, you could just go down to my Patreon and uh, subscribe and get it. So yeah, with that said, enjoy the clip, I guess. Hey, how's it going, Art Nerds? And welcome back to the first ever Patreon exclusive tutorial. My name is Didi Mark, obviously, but that's not what we're here for today. Uh, today is a shading tutorial, okay? Uh, I've never done a shading tutorial, at least not on my YouTube channel, or actually not anywhere. So, as you can see here on the screen, I've uh, sketched, which the sketch is right here. There you go, it's, uh, the opacity is low, but here you go. I've sketched and now I've inked. Uh, Kratos as you can see if you recognize the character this is Kratos from God of War and like I said this is a shading tutorial hopefully you can see my screen you can see my entire workspace and uh, to the right right here where my mouse cursor is you can see the layers I've used and so far I've only used three layers and one folder and on the left is you know my brushes and all that and whatnot without wasting any more time when you want to shade a character or you want to shade an object or whatever the first and most important thing to keep in mind is the sources of light or singular source of light in this picture right here that I've drawn before I even start shading I've already started thinking of what the source of light would be now um, this isn't a full coloring tutorial so after I shade this I'm gonna skip ahead and whatnot like the final thing and you'll see how it all comes together but I will explain my thought process as detailed as I can throughout the uh, shading phase at least so uh, I'm gonna make a separate layer right here I don't usually like naming my layers because I can always keep track of stuff, but you should definitely name your layers if you're not like that, if you're going to lose track, because at the end of this, there's going to be a lot of layers. There's going to be so much layers, at least when the colors are done. So let me go ahead and name this layer. I'm going to name this layer instructions because this is where I'm going to be drawing over and like explaining points that I, you know, I just can't talk away if that makes sense. So like I said. You have to think about the source of light so i intend for like the source of light maybe being the sun a natural source of light to come from here right so with that in mind the sun is going to hit the character from this direction so that means the dark parts of the of the character where we're going to have to actually shade is going to be on this side right now see this is when there's one singular source of light a natural source of light even if there was a lamp right here it'd be sort of the same thing. The shadows might just be a little more intense, maybe darker. But in this case, we're drawing Kratos. And if you know anything about the character, these blades that he has are called the Blades of Chaos. And they emit or they, they, they burn up in flame when Kratos uses it. So now this introduces something very unique in the sense of like, there's now two sources of light. Or if you want to get technical, there's three. There's one blade here and the second one here. And then the third, which is the natural light source, which is the sun. Okay, so now we have three sources of light we're working with here. So this makes this a little more of a complex one. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, close out on this layer here. And uh, also, forewarning before I move forward, everything that I do in this video is not the industry, like air quote, standard. It's not the right way of doing things. I don't know if there is a right way. All I'm teaching you and all I will ever teach you on this Patreon or whatever is going to be the way I do things, right? And I've never claimed to be a guru. Matter of fact, most of you know I don't even think I'm that great of an artist anyways. People just seem to want to know how I personally do things. But anyways, so now we have these sources of light kept in mind. I'm going to lock that layer so nothing happens to it. So what I like to do is I like to use the paint bucket tool on everything except the character. Now I'm going to use this tool right here. Uh, called the change layer color so i can see what i'm doing so i can uh differentiate the the fill from the actual line art if that makes sense so yeah i'm gonna skip ahead as i you know fill out the rest of everything that's not cradles here all right so as you can see now i filled out everything that's not cradles now let me explain why i did that why I did that is because I'm now going to hide the line work. I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to select a bright color. You don't, it doesn't have to be this, uh, you know, lime, whatever, neon, fluorescent green or whatever that I do. All that matters is you choose a bright color. I choose that color and I fill the white spaces. Oh, and by the way, these are my settings for my uh, paint bucket tool uh, because the settings are important to when you do this because if you don't have the right settings, the paint bucket tool might not completely fill in between, like completely fill to the edges. See, I have it done as best as I could, but for, you know, for things like this here, 
uh, if you don't have the settings right you might not have it filling as properly as you needed to so, but anyways so yeah i filled up the kratos parts the white parts of the uh thing that we just did i'm now going to delete that layer where i filled in with uh this blue here i'm going to delete it and why i did that was so look now we have kratos fully filled in here this is probably a faster way i've been told you can do this better with the lasso tool if you know how to do that go ahead i like this way but the reason you want to have it filled out is because every layer that you make going forward for, like for shadows for colors you can then clip it you see this layer right here you can clip to layer below so therefore it can prevent you from coloring outside the lines look at this example right here so now i've made a new layer and i've clipped it to this green layer that we just made so in the future when i'm shading nothing will come out of this line it just makes things it just makes things easier for me it takes a while to get used to this system of coloring but for me i think this is the best way so you see i can color whatever i want and i won't have it go outside that line you understand so okay. so this layer isn't permanently green unless you know you want that so yeah you turn this layer this green layer and this is why i say choose a light color you then put it to monochrome and what that happens is it then turns it white so it's like you have that layer to clip all your shadows and and stuff to but you can't see it it's like white you know what i mean uh, another thing about shadows when you're coloring or illustrating is to think about the environment that your character is in now i picture kratos being in a snowy mountainy area and i am going to illustrate that background for this piece so why i say it's good to know where your character is is so you can know what color to use for the shadow um so what i like to do is i like to put my line work the monochrome layer and everything in a separate folder and i clip a new layer to that folder and that's where i do all my uh shadows so i personally like to keep all my shadows separate from the actual line work and the flats the flats will go here clipped directly to the monochrome uh, layer if that makes sense uh so let's start here so the thing about coloring is you always want to be open to experimenting with you know new colors and stuff like that so i'm going to start off with a blue i might end up changing it later but we'll see so another thing uh besides knowing light source because remember how i said the most important thing about shadows and like putting shadows on a character or object is the light source that is true now the next most important thing to know when it comes to putting shadows on stuff is form you cannot i cannot repeat you will not be able to put shadows on objects properly if you do not have a good understanding of let me actually use a bigger brush so you guys can understand if you don't have a good understanding of form now form is a drawing fundamental that every artist that's even beginner should really be familiarizing themselves with because if you don't have an understanding of form you as an artist will not be able to communicate uh 3d-ness like you know that make your drawings and illustrations not look flat you know what i mean so keep in mind the light sources are from here the sun and the blades so let me start applying shadows keeping that in mind so i'm actually going to leave this uh layer showing you the viewer and i myself can remember these sources of light so i like to use uh the multiply layer for shadows okay so let's get let's get like a darkish blue right here okay now that i've applied the uh first layer of shadows now is to apply the second i'm also going to keep uh this same shade of blue for the next layer and the thing is with my coloring style you might start to notice that i like to do multiple layers of uh, simple cell shading so as we have right here this is already simple cell shading this is already enough for some artists and if it's enough for you that's fine so you can stop right here and then put in the flats and you could have a finished enough piece but for me no uh to add a little oomph to my illustrations i like to do multiple layers of shadows uh you'll see what i mean Thank you all so much for watching this video. I appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end. You must be built different if you did. <laughs> As always, shout out to my also wholesome, beautiful patrons for supporting me and supporting this channel. Without them, I'll be somewhere in some street begging for some change. You know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed the video. Hit the subscribe button as well because that helps out the channel. And last but not least, don't forget to leave a comment because I read all and respond to most comments. Till next time, partners, it is I, Didi Douchebag Mark. Peace and love, baby.